Imagine creating designs for your print-on-demand business and seeing exactly how they will look like on a t-shirt as you design them. This is one of the advantages that Vexel's online t-shirt maker can provide you, the option to design live on any product, whether it is a hoodie, a t-shirt, or any other product. It also has a built-in AI image generator that provides a couple of styles that are really good for print-on-demand. In this video, we are diving straight into Vexel's T-Shirt Maker, a free-to-try online tool that is suitable for beginners. I'll show you how to use this tool to create designs for print-on-demand, discover which AI style work best for making your designs stand out. If you're not aware of Vexel's, it is a popular online platform that provides a vast collection of design assets, including vector graphics, templates, T-Shirt designs, mockups, and more. And as part of their tool, they offer an online t-shirt design tool that is available to try for free. Once you click the link in the description, you will be taken directly to Vexel's t-shirt maker. As you can see, it's a very similar design tool to the other design tools that are available in the market. You have all the design options on the left and your artboard or your design board on the right. And in this case, it's... You can design directly on the t-shirt with the mock-up or you can switch to a normal artboard as we can as we will see during this video so let's start by going to the available templates in vex's t-shirt maker there have they have already many templates that you can use on uh, to design from you just need to press on it and change the text or edit the text or the graphics once you press on any of the templates it will be exported to your board in our case on the mockup let's ungroup this template and start changing the text one by one once you select any text word the text menu on the left side appears you can change the font the style of the font add stroke or and do many things so let's change our text to gym time eat sleep and exercise so by just double clicking on any word uh, you can edit it and now we are going to the graphics section and i'm going to search for a gym graphics to use instead of this donut it's as simple as that it's just scroll over or search for any gem graphics so let's use this one once you press on any graphic it will be again exported directly to your board and from the layers panel you can simply adjust the positioning of any of your text or graphic elements by simply dragging it above or below the other layers so each element is written on the layer for example the word sleep is on a separate layer and the word exercise on another layer so if you drag the layer to up or down you can simply change its position and once you're satisfied you simply can select all the elements on your board and group them and press on the download button and the design will be downloaded in two files one in a png format and the other in with the mockup that you have been working on and you can switch to the normal design board from here like so and you can also see how the design is going to look like so now let's try to use the ai art generator to create another element so i'm going to write a cute mouse wearing cowboy custom and riding a cow I'm going to use the vector art style as a beginning and this generates very nice vector graphics. Once you press on it, you can, it will be added to your artboard and again use the background image remover to remove the background and I'm going to use another template to add my text. So let's add this text below i'm going to change it to there to explore and again you can edit all the text of any 
of on any of your templates and again the menu the text menu is editable on the left side you can change the size of the font you can change the font style add strokes add shadows whatever you want and let's add another text template for the upper part of the design and also we can play with the text effect effect from uh, this text shape menu we can add a curve for example so let's add our text adventure time i'm going to change the font size and also the font type to something more modern and again i'm going to change the shape of the font to make it more curvy from the text shape tab i think this one looks better let's make it a little bit taller and adjust it to fit our design and we can also stretch it from this tab like so and we can change the color of the text from the upper menu simply press on the color circle and choose the the color that you would like to use let's make it more pink so let's choose more of a pinky color and let's add stroke to our text we can play with the width and the color of the stroke from the same menu And I'm going to change the font for the Dare to Explore text. Actually, let's use this template. It's more of a modern and uh, bolder font, so I like it. So I'm going to press on it to be placed on my artboard. And then I'm going to ungroup the words. So simply drag the template, change the text that you want so i'm going to, to add more i'm going to ungroup the template and replace the adventures time or with the word born again we can drag it to the back by choosing the layers panel and shift and move it to the back and for the lower text i'm going to change it to born to be wild so the text is to be wild and i think i'm going to use another another font so let's change the font to something bolder like so and change its size and for this text i'm going to add stroke to make it a little bit visible let's choose something different i think this font looks better so now our design is almost finished we can add some stars to the background of the design so to do that let's go to the graphics tab and search for stars so let's use this star so i'm going to add a couple of these stars to my design i think i like the yellow color so i'm going to leave it as is just going to place a couple of these stars on my artboard to fill the background ground of the design like so and once we are finished with with the design we can simply select all the elements and group them and download the design and again the, the design will be downloaded in both a png format and a, a jpg format with the mockup and and the jpg format with the mockup so that you can use it to promote the design on your social media now let's try the AI art generator of the t-shirt maker. We tried, so let's delete our design. So we tried the vector art. I'm going to use the same prompt and generate using the anime style. So also the anime style looks very nice for print on demand. 
Again, once generated, you can ju simply press on it and it will be placed on your artboard. And you can use the remove background option to remove or cut the background from your generated image. The style looks really cool. Both can work on print on demand or for print on demand quite well. So let's try the kawaii design or the kawaii option. Again, it looks really nice. I'm going to remove the background similar to the previous two. And the style is also very cute. So let's try the digital art style. Again, I'm using the same prompt and this one looks really nice. It's more of a, like a watermark or a sketchy art. I like this design. I'm going to create another design using this type of style. So as you can see, the t-shirt maker has a couple of AI options that can work very well for the print for the for print on demand designs. Now let's try the watercolor style. Still I'm using the same prompt. This one is also fine. So let's keep it in here. For the next style I'm going to use the steampunk and also again the steampunk style looks really cute and very good option for print on demand. So as you can see there are many styles that can be used for print on demand using the on the t-shirt maker on Vex's t-shirt maker and this is the design that I have created using one of the styles and it looks really nice again you can group it and download it using the download button like we did before and that's it so this is how you can use the Vexus t-shirt maker again you can try it for free using the link in the description however you will need a valid subscription if you would like to download your designs so let me know in the comments of the video if you recommend other t-shirt design tools that you would like me to try and hit the like and subscription button for more t-shirt design tutorials thanks for watching